closest to the Sun, smallest of the eight, and flooring it, Mercury orbits in 88 Earth days. Its day-night temperature swing is a mood board, scorching approximately 430 degrees Celsius in sunlight, then approximately minus 180 degrees Celsius in darkness because it can't trap heat. There's only a whisper-thin exosphere, not a cozy atmosphere. Thanks to a 3 to 2 spin orbit resonance, one Mercury solar day, noon back to noon, lasts 176 Earth days, two Mercurian years for one sunrise to sunrise cycle. Efficient, not even slightly, Mercury keeps polar water ice in eternally shadowed craters. The crust is wrinkled by global shrinkage. Cooling made the planet crumple into scarps. It also sports a tiny magnetic field. Also, a weirdly egg-shaped orbit and noon shadows stretching across cratered terrain. Mercury is that friend who leaves the party early, then texts at sunrise because time means nothing. Next stop, the planet that's somehow even hotter. Gorgeous to the eye, catastrophic to the lungs. Venus is the hottest planet, not because it's closest to the sun, but because an ultra-thick CO2 atmosphere and sulfuric acid clouds supercharge the greenhouse effect. Surface temps melt lead and the pressure is approximately 92 times Earth's. It also spins backward, retrograde, so the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. A Venus day is weirder still. The planet rotates so slowly that a solar day is approximately 117 Earth days, while a Venusian year is approximately 225. Those clouds reflect sunlight, making Venus our night skies show off. Beneath them, hurricane-force winds circle the planet in four Earth days. Soviet Venera landers melted. Volcano-draped highlands hint at resurfacing. Even after sunset, superheated rocks radiate stubbornly. Venus is the perfect on Instagram, chaos in person date. Grab your water bottle. Next up is the only world we know that keeps oceans on the surface. Third rock from the sun, liquid water oceans covering approximately 71% of the surface, an atmosphere you can inhale and life everywhere, from hydrothermal vents to your neighbor's sourdough starter. Earth is the only planet we know with long-term stable surface water and the only one confirmed to host life. One spin takes approximately 24 hours, one lap approximately 365.25 days, and our axis tilt, 23.4 degrees, gives us seasons instead of one eternal meh. We also have a big moon that stabilizes our axial wobble, helpful for climate sanity. A global magnetic field deflects solar tantrums and plate tectonics recycles Earth's crust, stabilizing climate through the carbon silicate thermostat. We've mapped only a sliver of the deep ocean, because Kraken, probably. We orbit in the habitable zone, a sweet spot for liquid water. Earth is the group project lead who did all the work, and then watched us try to recycle pizza boxes. Pack your parka, our next neighbor is colder, dustier, and very popular on tech billionaire vision boards. Half Earth's diameter, red because its iron-rich dust is oxidized. Air is mostly CO2, so thin your lungs would file a complaint, and temperatures can nosedive to minus 153 degrees Celsius. Yet Mars hoards bragging rights. Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, about three times taller than Everest, and Valles Marineris, a canyon system long enough to span the continental US. Mars once had flowing water. Today, it's mostly locked up as ice or salty brines. A Martian day is handily close to ours at approximately 24.6 hours, the only thing your circadian rhythm will thank. Gravity is just 38% of Earth's, so you dunk effortlessly. Polar caps grow and shrink with CO2 frost, and planet-wide dust storms can darken skies for months. Phobos and Deimos, adorable potato-shaped moons. Perseverance caches sample tubes for return. Future robots might bring Mars home. Mars is the gym bro who skipped leg day. Olympus Mons flex, zero atmosphere stamina. Fifth from the sun and huge, 
If Jupiter were hollow, about 1,000 Earths could fit inside. It's more than twice as massive as all the other planets combined, and it spins so fast a day lasts approximately 10 hours. The Great Red Spot? A colossal storm that's raged for centuries, though it's shrinking. Jupiter's a gas giant. No surface to stand on, try it and you'd sink into pressure-cooked hydrogen soups. With 90-plus moons and a thin ring system, it's a whole mini-system. Jupiter reshuffles comets and asteroids like a cosmic bouncer, protecting or redirecting the chaos. Inside, hydrogen becomes metallic, fueling a monster magnetic field and savage radiation belts. Bring SPF infinity. The Galilean moons, steel scenes, volcanic Io, ocean-hiding Europa, Ganymede, and crater mosaic Callisto. Spin class certified. Aurora's bigger than Earth crackle at the poles, powered by charged particles from Io. Jupiter is the protein shake of planets, mostly hydrogen, all bulk, but with no definition. Second largest planet and master of aesthetics, Saturn's rings, billions of chunks of water ice and rock, from dust to house-sized boulders, stretch hundreds of thousands of kilometers, yet are typically only approximately 10 meters thick in the main bands. Despite its girth, Saturn's average density is less than water's. In the mythical giant bathtub, it floats. Damage summary, your bathtub ring now has rings. Saturn hosts a zoo of moons, from hazy Titan with methane lakes to geyser spouting Enceladus. At the North Pole, a hexagon-shaped jet stream spins like a cosmic logo. The rings snow into Saturn, ring rain thins them over time. Titan's thick nitrogen air and methane seas slay. Seasonal lighting reveals ring changes. Cassini's grand finale did a nosedive between the rings and the planet, Saturn's rings are the original hula hoops, everybody else just wobbles. Bring your neck pillow, the next planet decided up was optional. An ice giant with a why not approach to posture. Uranus is tilted by 98 degrees relative to its orbit, so it basically rolls around the sun. That gives it extreme seasons. Each pole can bask in decades of sunlight or darkness. It has faint rings and dozens of moons named after Shakespearean characters, because drama. Blue-green hues come from methane in the upper atmosphere absorbing red light. Scorecard, lots of water, ammonia, and methane ices squished into hot, high-pressure fluids around a small rocky core. Coldest upper atmosphere in the club, minimal internal heat, maximum chill. One Uranian year lasts 84 Earth years, so birthdays are rare. Only one flyby, Voyager 2, explaining the mysterious vibes and memes. It's offset magnetic field cartwheels, producing lopsided auroras and puzzles galore. Uranus is that student who turns in the test upside down and aces it. Final stop, the windy one at the edge of the map. eighth and most distant planet, completing a single solar orbit every approximately 165 Earth years. Sunlight here is approximately 900 times dimmer than on Earth, yet Neptune whips up the fastest winds in the solar system. More than 1,200 miles per hour, 2,000 kilometers per hour, and fields tempests like the Great Dark Spot. Like Uranus, it's an ice giant, hydrogen slash helium atmosphere tinted blue by methane, with likely exotic, super-hot oceans of water under insane pressures deep below. Rings? Yes, faint and clumpy, with arcs stabilized by nearby moons. Discovered when astronomers noticed the first ice giant wasn't following Newton's laws, they predicted another planet and, in September 1846, found Neptune at the calculated spot. A 16-hour day spins up that fast weather. Triton, its largest moon, orbits backward and has geysers of nitrogen. It's probably a captured Kuiper Belt rebel. Dark storms appear, vanish, migrate. The planet's climate flips moods unpredictably and spectacularly. Neptune is the introvert who lives off-grid and answers the door with a leaf blower. Credits roll, unless you want the bonus scene. 
Pluto spent 1930 to 2006 as Planet 9 before the International Astronomical Union, IAU, laid down new rules. To be a planet, you must orbit the sun, be round, and clear your orbital neighborhood. Pluto checks the first two boxes but shares its Kuiper Belt lane with lots of company. Its orbit intersects Neptune's and its plane differs from the planet's. So it's now the most famous dwarf planet. Status aside, New Horizons showed us a world with nitrogen glaciers and a big heart-shaped plane, and zero interest in leaving pop culture. Its largest moon, Sharon, is so big, the pair behaves like a binary. Their berry center floats outside Pluto. Sputnik Planitia's heart keeps time, and possible cryovolcanoes hint at internal heat. Atmosphere? Thin nitrogen that sometimes freezes out. Seasons span centuries, sunlight is dim like Earth's snowy twilight. Pluto is the cousin who got moved to the kids' table and immediately became everyone's favorite. Well, that's our planetary roast. Eight weirdos, zero refunds. If you laughed, learned, or both, drop a like, roast your favorite planet in the comments, and subscribe to Cosmo Binge for more cosmic chaos every week.